Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic, it's a sort of concept and topic that's become very popular not only in Korean TV and media but in America as well and probably globally it's cooking, right? Um, more specifically, we're talking about celebrity chefs. These famous people, they're not known for acting or singing. They're known for their cooking ability. So what's happening? The top five Korean chefs to host collaborative dinners with American chefs. So they're going to be the host. They're going to have a party, a dinner party. Collaborative means together. We're all going to be from America and Korea. Collaborate, work together as a team, and we're going to have a party. So five chefs who are regarded, who are thought or believed as the best in Korea are hosting collaborative dinners. So there's multiple dinners with famous, with two famous American chefs, Dan Barber and Carlo Maracci in New York City. So Choi Hyun Suk of Elban the Table, Yim Jung Sik of Restaurant Jung Sik, uh, Chang Jin Mo of A and N D, Tony Yu of Twenty Four Seasons and Kan Min Gu of Mingles. These are the five Korean chefs are the hosts of the lavish and very fancy, elegant dinners, which showcases, which is like a you know tada show, Korean cuisine, Korean food from June 9th to 11th. The event, known as Korea New York City Di Dinners, is organized by the world's top 50 best restaurants association. So this group, they go around the world and they see who's the best restaurant. And La Main, the local gourmet food magazine. Gourmet is talking about very fancy and high class food, right? First class food. In comments back on in ninth, May 9th in Seoul, during a press conference, they had sort of a meeting with you know, reporters and camera people, announcing the event, Chef Kang of Mingo said, I think with the five of us combined together, we can really introduce or sort of show for the first time a new side of Korean food in New York. Kang said he hopes to clear up misperceptions of what Korean food is and how it is different from other Asian cuisines. So perceptions, we are talking about what people think about Korea. So many people can think, you know, kimchi is always spicy. They have that perception, right? But a misperception, because that is a misperception because not all kimchi is spicy, right? They have a wrong idea about Korean food. So they want to really clear it up. They want to fix it. They want to show a clear perception, not a misperception. Uh, on June 11th, the five chefs will combine their culinary, their cooking talents and host another dinner at Cheongjik, the, the other guy's restaurant, which received two Michelin stars. This is just a score system around the world. So two Michelin stars means they have two points and it's a very, very fancy and delicious restaurant. It's a very good restaurant. So we have three review terms or sentences here. A, who are the organizers? Who's, you know, the host of this dinner? The event is organized by the world's 50 best restaurants association and La Main, a local magazine covering blank food. So what kind of food would this magazine talk about? Well, we're not talking about snacks or desserts or even fast food. We're not talking about McDonald's or hot dogs or pizza. We're talking about very high class food, very high quality food, very fancy food, high ingredients. It's gourmet food. Gourmet would be, you know, like organic, you know, super high quality food, not the, you know, fast food like Burger King. I'm sorry, nothing about Burger King, you know, just fast food in general. B. How did Chef Kang of Mingos explain his motive, explain his reason? Why did he join this event? He would really like to introduce a new side of Korean food and clear up blank about the Korean food. So 
Many people around the world, let's say someone in India, when they think about Korean food, they have this idea, right? Um, they think that all Korean food is spicy. That's their idea. But we're saying, no, that's not true. It's not all spicy. You sort of have a wrong idea, not their fault. So we say a misconception before we say misperception, but it can be sort of interchanged. Conception is talking about an idea and misconception is having the wrong idea, right? So we think that uh, in Australia, it's always hot every day. Right? But that is a misconception because they have a winter and they have a summer, just, as, just like us. Right? C. What is another agenda? What's another sort of schedule, a plan for Chef Kang joining the Korea New York City dinners? He would like to show the difference between Korean food and other Asian blank. So another way to say food is cuisine. Food and cuisine, it really is talking about the same thing. It's something that we eat, something that we cook, and it's just food, cuisine. All right? We have three review terms here. First one, five chefs who are blank as the best in Korea are hosting collaborative dinners with two famous American chefs. So, uh, they want to pick these five chefs, right? They want to pick them. And why did they pick them? It's because they are thought to be, or they are believed to be, they are seen as, or they are regarded as, they are thought of. So we can say that uh, lemon is regarded as very, very sour. People think lemons are sour, right? Uh, usually watermelons are regarded to be very very what do you think about when you think about watermelons they're very juicy right they are regarded as very juicy they are regarded as very you know very good as the best Cho uh, Hyun Suk of Elba on the table Yim uh, Jung Sik of Restaurant Jung Sik Chang Jin Mo of a and Tony Yu of 24 Seasons Kang Min Goo of Mingles are hosts of the lavish dinners which blank Korean cuisine. So all of these amazing chefs, they want to have a special dinner, right? And this dinner, what's the main event? It's not a show or some sort of concert or a movie. The main event is the food, right? They want to make the food the main thing. They want to present it. They want to sort of display it and another way is to showcase showcase means it's the main event that they want to show you all right see the five chefs will combine their blank talents talents means skill or ability right so what kind of abilities do chefs have they can cut very well they can mix very well they can taste very well all of these things we are talking about cooking right so we want to say culinary talents, like cutting and mixing and tasting. We can say, what are some culinary tools? Knives, a bowl, a spoon. What are some culinary uh, places? Like restaurants, kitchen, uh, e-mart, right? So to review, regarded means to think of, right? Many people think these five chefs are the best. Showcases means the main event to show you. And culinary is anything to do with cooking. So culinary talents will be cooking, I mean cutting and mixing. Culinary tools will be knives and bowls. And culinary places will be kitchens and restaurants. All right, so next time you'll probably see another show like this on Korean TV, it's a cooking show. You should really pay attention because we probably, you'll probably see one of these people on that show. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.